welcome back friends in this video we're going to see only demo whatever i have done i'll going to show those part okay um in the main resource folder i have added a json request it is for creating employee updating employee creating customer updating customer similarly creating vendor updating vendor okay let me open my sql i'll going to remove all the records okay i'll going to remove all the records that is the file this the sql script it is going to remove all the records from the table okay now we're going to start with the uh, employees i don't have any records in employees okay i'll take a json request from here create employee create request i'm going to paste here meenakshi employee meenakshi dot employee dot gmail dot com okay this is a json request i'll going to send let me check server is started i think server is not started yet server is started now sending a request see here this is a response after creating a employee record see whatever uh, data i have given here meenakshi employee full name meenakshi employee full name then gmail id there is a gmail id password 123 I given password one two three, but I response. I get the password as a hashing. It's a encrypted password of one two three. I'll I'll post a separate video for that. How I did encrypted password. I will explain later that. Hmm? Okay. Uh, we should not password uh, the pure text format. That is not good. We need to encrypt and uh, store the database. That's what I have done here. That's the reason it's giving the encrypted password. okay so everything is uh, stored in the database let's check the address also ram street first lane trichy see ram, ram street first lane trichy okay so uh, employee creation is working perfectly when you check role user id 4 what is the user id of employee employee user id is 4 year See employee ID is two, employee user ID is four. So fourth user, the see the employee user ID four. For fourth user, there is a role generator. Okay, role ID one. So everything looks fine. Now I want to update this record. Before updating, we will check how to view the record. For viewing record is nothing. I will go to what is that? I want to remove everything. I don't want to keep. Now I want to view the record. Now, now I want to view the record. Whatever record I have created, the employee ID is a two. For that, go to the um, new tab. Here already I have a new tab. The select that uh, uh, the request type is a request method is a get. The URL must be employees here. Employees. The ID is a two. I want to view employee ID two, right? That employee ID I want to view two. Make sure that uh, we have a content type publication just on everything. No authorization, okay? Hmm? No body. Body is not. No, this just a viewing. We don't have to send any body here, okay? 
then that's it now we need to send a request i want to view the employee record 2 see it's coming here everything is coming see whatever a record I have created that is that I am able to view. Now I want to update this record. For update we can use this. You can use this, but when you use this update record, use this request. Um, what you have to do is you have to change all the IDs. If you miss any ID, it will not work. Even you have to change employee. Okay. So uh, what my suggestion is um, view the record, take this entire response. Take this entire response then paste here change the method type so no need not i will okay go go to the post method copy this response go to the post method remove this request paste it here then remove this response class type remove this response class type so remove here also one braces then this message message type is not required for updating the records also this employee is also not required okay that's it now when you look at this request this request both are same only okay now we don't have to change id because i i want to update this record i am pasting the same so id and all the same only here okay so i don't want to change if you copy this record what will happen if any if you miss to change any id or code that will not work okay that's the reason i am saying uh, view the record copy that uh, response and paste it here and remove whatever i removed now i want to change it to some value here i change the first name is sir ramani right i want to change it to minakshi first name is raj right last name is raj i want i want to change it to employee then mobile number i want to change it to 11111 the address I will going to change um, Krishna Street. Then second, the two field I want to change. That's it. Okay, now I want to update. See, make sure that your uh, request method is post and uh, you are using its employees. That's it. See, it's updated. It will come with updated value. First name I change it to Meenakshi, Ramani to Meenakshi, last name I change Raj to employee, employee is coming, mobile number change to 1111, then address and I change it to Krishna and the address to second left, something like that I change. We will check the database now. Uh, where is that? That should be user. See so here first name is Meenakshi, last name is employee, mobile number 111. We will check address, Krishna street, second left. Change so update also working fine. Also, the view also working fine. Everything looks fine, right? I think for vendor customer you can try, but I will uh, show the demo for customer vendor. You can try, okay? Go to create customer, the same post method I'm going to use. Copy this data, change it here to customers, then that's it, nothing else. Here Suresh customer, suresh.customer at gmail.com, password is 123, three password 123, first name, for customer we don't have to pass first name and all, right? I will go and remove the first name. This option, if you want you can pass, mobile is a mandate. Okay, also you no need to pass the address address also the, these, these things are optional for customer that is the reason i am showing the customer demo everything is optional here if you want we can add it because when you go to supermarket they will going to ask only the mobile number nothing the customer record you don't have to pass the mobile attribute itself okay now i want to um, Remove this uh, mobile number. What's happening? Let's check. The validator must be fired. 
see mobile number cannot be empty customer you have to pass mobile number definitely okay i'll go to see 222 okay now i'm sending request customer created successfully with the given value we'll check the database now the info table will going to get one more row five suresh dot customer first name last name everything is empty okay the password here story as a 123 only okay but uh, i think I, I i have to change for customer scenario also i want to encrypt for customer scenario also that is that is missed i think i will do it later that then customer table you can see new row with the customer code suresh customer user id is a 5 see user id is a 5 for the customer then address for user id i 5 we need to it will be a new record see user id 5 it will be a new record with empty values okay mobile number i am not storing it mobile number it's option only here so i removed uh, the json request okay but mobile number required for the user fields it's stored here okay now i want to view the customer what is the customer id here customer id is a 2 right so i want to view the customer go to the get method change it to customers slash 2 oh yeah 2 2 only right uh, yeah customer is a 2 i'm going to send a request see customer id is 2 suresh customer everything is coming here okay now i want to update this you don't have to take it from here okay because you need to change all the ids so better copy this response paste it here so i don't want to disturb the get method copy this response go to post method save that response in the request section of uh, post method uh, remove this under remove and braces and the message 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 type not required this employee is also not required i don't know why it's coming employee here i will check and fix that okay now time to sending update request i'm going to add first name last name And that's why you're going to say first date. Now you're going to send the request. See, first name, last name is added. Saturday and also added. So it's after updating, giving the updated value as a response. Check the customer table. Now we need to check the customer table for user user information see first name last name is updated here In the address you can see address one so customer also working fine for update view and um, create please try the same thing for vendor if you face an issue please let me know okay the next video we will going to talk about centralized exception handling how to how to implement centralized exception handling in our billing system please share this video to friend circle and please share this video to who is looking for project development experience it will, it's a great helpful for me soon i'm going to meet with the next video until then bye bye from suresh still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video